Hey there Beyblade fans and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're checking out Beyblade Burst Quad Drive Cyclone Roctavar. If you don't know what Quad Drive is, check out the What is Beyblade Burst Quad Drive cart. And if you don't know what Beyblade is, check out Bay Basics for learning all you need to know about Beyblade. Getting into this unboxing, we've got this duo set of a string launcher plus Cyclone Roctavar, which is going to be a stamina type with a whopping 13 stamina points. That's three off of the normal scale. So this thing should be a stamina monster. Cyclone Roctavar R7 comes with a variety of parts for this quad drive system. We're gonna have the chip, the energy layer, the armor, the weight disc, the driver, and the driver enhancement. These bays will come in a variety of modes where you can have the uh, core mode versus the apex mode and then the plus mode versus the non-plus mode and all sorts of different combinations like that. So we've got Cy or we got Roctavar, Cyclone 6, Nexus, Assault, and Never. So let's take a look. Oh no, I ripped it. Well, it's all over now. Hurts. Very interesting packaging. So we've got the string launcher. Sounds okay. Sounds like a normal string launcher. Should be able to pull that and push that to change direction. That will switch it between left and right. And of course, you got the QR code that you can scan to get that launcher in your uh, Beyblade Burst app. Then we got all the parts. So layer comes together in the Cyclone Roctavar layer. It has our six armor in here the chip and the bay itself, the weight disc and all the parts. So that's all laid out there for the world to see. And of course, we've got our QR code for Roctavar itself. Roctavar, Roctavar. So the chip looks all right. Got the menacing little look of the demon himself on both sides. A symmetrical, <laughs> symmetrical chip. The layer itself is a ovular layer, which is of course going to be excellent for stamina types. Would be preferred to be a circle, but ovals still work really well, especially when they're smooth like that with few notches. Two notches on the sides will result in a little bit of recoil points, but could also do some decent catching to do damage to your opponents. So this layer works pretty well. And then some longer teeth that if you wanted to switch this into a faster spinning attack combination, like when you use the Assault base, the attack combination is going to do a lot more damage, where when you use the Never base, you're going to be in that stamina mode. The Armor 6, uh, TR-04 or something like that, along <laughs> for Hasbro, uh, is going to have three sides with little notches on them, and that will align pretty well if we put it in... And then slap the chip in. This is my very first, there you go. Very first quad drives so and still getting a little bit used to how they work. So putting that in, you've got the ridges around the outside, which works pretty well with the design of Cyclone. And then that orange and yellow look is all right. You've got your Giga weight disc that is a nice hexagonal weight disc it works really well weight wise it has excellent weight distribution and it is just overall very well performing assault is the driver so we've got a very flat base this isn't quite the same as assault that you'd be used to if you did the beyblade burst or beyblade burst evolution line assault 
was a little bit different than this, but that is because this has to be able to take on the never attachment. So they had to change up how assault works a little bit, but it's still going to be a decent attack type hitting that arena there. The flat plastic will do a rapid attack pattern, which gives you an, an attack type rock devar. And then when you take on this attachment, you can slide it in and rotate it. And now you've turned it into plus mode. And in plus mode, it'll be never. Never has got a very fine point. The very fine point will touch the arena floor and stay very still. And then it has some braking mechanisms for when it tilts. Pulling that whole thing together in apex mode, where it is tall. So an apex plus mode is what this is all right now. So this is a tall mode. The armor is on top, the chip goes below the armor, and then the weight disc will have a larger gap in it from the top, and then the driver at the bottom, and this is the tallest mode that you're gonna be able to get. You could remove the never attachment. I can figure out how to do that. Might need to take it apart to do that. There we go. Do need to take it apart. So you can remove the never attachment to go into just Apex mode, not Apex Plus. And then you can swap the chip and armor pieces. So pulling out the armor. Rotating the chip and pulling that out. Placing the chip on the top. Rotating it into place until it clips, taking the armor and putting it in underneath the chip instead of on top. So now the armor is going to be like that and it aligns slightly differently. Putting that together like this, you've got your core mode, which is the smallest mode that this Beyblade can go into. Very small gap between the weight disc and the energy layer. The armor is hidden below the chip and you've got a little bit of coloring on the chip. And then you've got your assault base, which is slightly smaller. And of course, you can enter into core plus mode. You got to take it apart. Core plus mode, slide that in, rotate it, put it together. And that's core plus. This is probably going to be the most preferred mode that you're going to see a lot of players use when you play in this series. Core plus, I think, is probably going to have the best performance in most bays. Attack type bays, you might want to be in apex mode and then whatever driver you're dealing with. But for the most part, I think you're going to see a lot of core pluses. So that is Cyclone Ragnarok. Cyclone Ragnarok never, or Giga never. Rock Tavar. Cyclone Rock Tavar. Giga never. So. Let's take a look at how this performs in some battles against other Beyblade Burst Quad Drive products. First, let's take a look at how this Beyblade and Launcher work in the arena in their different modes. Three, two, one. So a tiny bit more movement than you would want from a stamina type at the start there, but once it rested, it nicely rested in the center exactly where you'd want. This looks like a solid driver. Let's pop it over to the assault mode and see how it performs. Three, two, one. When launched flat, it definitely entered the tornado pattern, which is what you want from an attack type. Core plus Rocktavar versus Apex plus Nemesis. Three, two, one, let it rip. So we see that extra movement from the never gear, and then it'll rest down in the center, Stone Nemesis acting kind of like an attack type. Oh, and a beautiful knockout. That's one point for Rockabar. Three, two, one. Well, that's just fun to watch, but <laughs> not really that useful. Three, two, one. Rip. Ooh, a nice burst victory there. Three, two, one. And another burst means Rocktavar takes out Stone Nemesis. Next, Rocktavar Core versus Ifridor Core Plus. Three, two, one. 
Always be aware of flying Beyblade parts. Three, two, one, go! Oh, I lost my rush launch and went into tornado stall, which is a little unfortunate if I'm trying to be an attack type. Although stalling out seems to be working right now. It's so exciting to watch, but it may be victorious. And a nice tornado stall victory. Three, two, one, go. Due to the shape of this assault tip, you're gonna notice this a lot when you're in regular mode without the plus attachment on this rock to bar. You're gonna stall out your opponent spinning around them. Even if you start with a rush launch, it's gonna default into this pattern. I still take the win. Three, two, one, go. And that's triple spin out victory for Roktavar in core mode. Swapping Roktavar to Apex Plus with Ifritor in core. Three, two, one, six. And Roktavar was blown into pieces and out of the arena. Three, two, one. Spin out for Rockvar. Three, two, one. And a final spin out for Roktavar leaves them at a tie. Final matchup is Apex Roktavar versus Core Nemesis. Three, two, one, let's go. Another first victory versus that Stone Nemesis. Three, two, one. So apparently, Stone Nemesis isn't the best metric to use as it bursts far too easily. Three, two, one. And a final burst there. All right, so after playing around with Cycle and Roktavar there, I think that this, in the Quad Drive series at least, is going to be a fantastic bay. Overall performance-wise, compared to some of the other Quad Drive bays that we have, this one did really well in both modes. So in the uh, Apex mode, Core mode, and both Plus and Non-Plus, I think it performed pretty well. It out stamina most things. I noticed when in Assault, so in Non-Plus mode, <laughs> uh, the combination acted more of a Tornado Stall combo than of a Attack Style combo. So it utilized this to spin around the outside of the arena, but it did not... Uh, do too much attacking or aggressive patterns and it didn't utilize any form of contact points and as you see here as it rotates to the right it doesn't really have any attack points it mostly has buffering points so that makes sense in how it was used and how it utilizes assault to tornado stall out and spin out its opponents rather than being too aggressive uh, I also noticed it had pretty decent teeth there wasn't a lot of times in this that this bay burst so burst rate is always going to be a worry about people. You don't want your bay to burst too often, although in my opinion, bay should burst. You should see the occasional burst. This is Beyblade burst and that's the most fun part of it, but you don't want your bay to burst every time. 
combination and parts wise i think these are all really solid parts this is pretty decent for a never it of course doesn't have the rubber or anything but it works pretty well and then the assault is a great attack type as well as of course tornado stall combination there Giga's just such a great weight disc. It isn't it doesn't drop as low, so it doesn't risk scrapage, as well as it has really great weight distribution and really even sides, so it works in any shape. The layer itself is oval, but it's a stamina type oval, so it's not got any flat sides to do those damage points, and it doesn't have any wings in the direction that it spins to do any hits. So you're not going to be dealing damage out with this thing, but you are going to be able to push away attacks and resist bursts as much as possible, which is awesome. Uh, I don't think these things, I think this little armor chips are nice that they put them in to relate to the Dynamite Battle series, but this thing, like, if it's a gram, I would be surprised. So the difference that you're going to get out of these is going to be insignificant. Uh, it's really just there for style and just to keep the look the same as what Dynamite Battle looks like. But they're still nice to have, changes the look and gives you that high mode, low mode, different feel. Overall, I do think it worked better in low mode in this combination. So low mode did perform better and I think low mode plus was definitely the strongest of all of the combinations we saw. But I, it performed pretty well in all the different combos. For the string launcher, we didn't use the string launcher in the battles because we don't have two string launchers and I didn't want it to feel like any form of unfairness that the string launcher was too strong or the rib cords were too strong or something like that. Uh, I'm not in love with how this rib cord feels compared to other string launchers that I have. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if I can get another one to be able to compare them up against each other. But for now, I'll probably just avoid using this string launcher. I don't think... I like the feel of it and I just don't have anything to compare it with or to have an even fight with. So that is Cyclone Rockdavar. This bay is going to be one of the best, I think, quad drive bays available. So I definitely think this is a good pack to pick up. Even if you're not interested in that string launcher, you're getting some awesome parts in the bay itself. So that's my thoughts on this bay combination. I hope you guys enjoyed and I invite you to watch more of our videos from Saw the Games as we love producing this content and we love you guys coming out and seeing what we got. Until next time.